charge back back Johnny Depp. genius sisters use him like a lab rat Johnny Depp. The mean freak dad at home is super busy mom Johnny Depp. But the boy's best friend is a talking dog, talking dog. That's right Extreme jeans and an air breathing shark. Mega action game controller skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Johnny, 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 this is the life of a boy named Johnny Test. you'll be fine. <gasps> Johnny, are you okay? You did study, right? <laughs> what? No, hi, Dookie. No, thanks for waiting for me like a loyal dog, Dookie. No, here's a steak, because you're the greatest dog in the world, Dookie. Huh? No time talks. Test tomorrow. Dude, didn't study. I gotta buy some time. One sick day ought to do it. But you're not sick. Not yet. Hi, Sissy's mom. I know Sissy's been out sick, so I brought her these flowers to make her feel better. Oh, that's sweet. But I don't think visitors are a good thing. <laughs> what do you want? I brought you these flowers. Cough on me. What? Johnny need to get sick by tomorrow, so cough and sneeze on me. Forget it, Turbo Weirdo. Sissy, did I ever tell you you are so beautiful? Kiss me. You are sick. In the head. Kiss me! Okay, close your eyes and pucker up. Mm. <laughs> Didn't get the cold? Nope, but the day is young, my fuzzy buddy. And I gotta avoid school tomorrow! <laughs> oh, you look sick and contagious. So here's a hug to make you feel better. <laughs> oh, let me take that for you. <laughs> <laughs> That is one sick kid. Anything? Not even a sniffle. This is bad. Bad, I tell you! Then it's time to start cramming, and you'll be needing this. No, time to start faking. So I'll be needing this. Beef noodle soup and hot cocoa mix? <laughs> that looks like barf. Yeah. Dying. Oh, I get it. You're making barf. Hey, you should add some corn for effect. Corn, <laughs> very barfy. Corn? That's way too obvious. You gotta be subtle when fooling parents. And besides, it's all in the acting. Oh, I'm so sick. I don't think I can go to school tomorrow. That's beef noodle soup with hot cocoa mix together. Nice try though, Johnny. You know, if he added some corn, I might have bought it. Darn! Now, why did the colonists throw British tea into Boston Harbor? It tasted like barf? To protest taxes! Next, the Declaration of Independence was signed where? My sister's lab! No, Philadelphia! No, my sisters have all kinds of junk up there that will give me red spots and make my tongue blue and make me miss school! Go! I want to test something. Bring it on! Bring on the test! No. Mom and Dad have forbidden us to go anywhere near you after last week's perfect smile experiment. <laughs> Way off on that one. But I love you and want to help you, so Johnny test up! What are you doing? Johnny! Stop! Perfect! No! Not perfect! You just drank an unstable isotope! But I feel fine. 
mind, so... Cool. No, not cool. Why do you say not cool? Is he in any danger? What have you done? Not sure. But we'll do a computer analysis and run some tests. But in the meantime, don't show Mom and Dad. Johnny? Johnny? <laughs> oh! Feeling bad. Can't go school. <laughs> I don't think I can go to school tomorrow and... Oh! Whoa! I have never seen anything like this. It must be a new disease. Wait, it gets worse. Oh! Oh! Is it going to be okay? Get Johnny home for bed rest and no school tomorrow. Yes! I mean school. In the meantime, I will contact the Center for Disease Control and research this Johnny-itis. No, I'll be fine after I miss my test. Or, I mean, get some rest. We've generated a computer model of Johnny in order to determine the effect of the isotope on his body. Well, what will happen? It looks like bloating. Uh, then what? Anything else? <laughs> okay, he gets bloated and then gets a nasty cough. Is that it? Oh, that's bad. He explodes! We'll get to work on an antidote. So how long before he goes boom? Um, four hours? Now just relax, sweetheart. And I want you to watch TV and don't think about school at all. Because you're staying home. Yes! I mean, oh, uh, thanks, Mom and Dad. You're the best parents a sick boy could ever have. What? We have some bad news. Well, what is it? Ah! Are you telling me I'm a time bomb? Only after massive bloating and a really nasty cough. But we are working on an antidote, and we should have it finished before you explode. Why don't you just study like normal kids? It's easy, you learn the facts, and you don't blow up! Let's remain calm. Too much excitement could accelerate the effects of the isotope. You hear something? <laughs> Surround the house! What's going on? The son has contacted an unknown disease and must be quarantined and studied and probably poked with a lot of long needles. Do it! <laughs> what? Oh, no! <laughs> Don't worry about your son. We're the professionals. Hey, girls. Johnny's been quarantined, but he'll be fine. Ah! There's no way disease control will figure out what's wrong with Johnny and Ty. But the good news is, I just finished the antidote. And all we have to do is get it to the doctors and save Johnny! He's our brother! It's not Johnny Itis! He's just reckless! Come on, please! <laughs> Thank you. But I don't think we need any help from teenage girls. But you don't understand! We have an antidote! He has four hours or he's gonna explode! We're... Professionals, and we know a little more about dangerous, infectious diseases than you. He ate an isotope! Uh, um, I mean, I'm a kid with a rare hair disorder. <laughs> How rare? Run! Get the kid with the hairy disease! How long does Johnny have? 30 minutes till kaboom! <laughs> I just wanted to get out of my history! Why didn't you just study? No, this won't hurt a bit. It's gonna hurt a lot. But then you'll start to feel really nice. <gasps> oh no, I'm bloating! Help! I said, help! This way! Oh, I think we're about to find out what causes Johnny-itis. Johnny, quick! Drink this and you won't explode! We gotta get that antidote! Freeze! Don't move her! We're trapped! Well, that was convenient. Hop in! <laughs> We're doomed. They're gonna be waiting for us on the first floor. Oh no, here 
comes Johnny's violent cough face. <coughs> and that's just the thing I was hoping for. <coughs> We've got them now. <laughs> That is one nasty cough. Oh! Hurry! He's gonna blow! Yep, he's perfectly healthy. Okay, everyone, let's get some coffee. Yes, I'm perfectly healthy. Yes! Okay, you may start your test. No! Remember, kids, always study and do your assignments on time. Oh, and never eat isotopes. <laughs> Hank Anchorman reporting on the super scary new blockbuster, The Beast. It's Beastimonium, baby, and it's sweeping the nation. They say that the freaky hairy beast is so scary that when you see it on screen, your face gets a terror freeze, <laughs> like that. Johnny, bro, that movie totally gave me the scares, and ah, it's The Beast! <laughs> It's just a poodle, everyone. <laughs> False alarmsies. Oh, man. This movie must be terrifying. I gotta see it! Two tickets, please. The Beast is rated NWKU13CSTM. And? And it means no way kids under 13 can see this movie. <laughs> yeah. Next! Don't worry. I have a plan. <laughs> I'd like to purchase two tickets to this beast motion picture. I'm 40. Gotcha! Nice try, little dude. No. <laughs> Enjoy the show, cool older dude. You would never go see this movie without me, would you? Oh, big time. Ever hear of knocking? Johnny, want mustache. Why do you want a mustache? Because I have to be a part of Beastimonium. Even if we could give you a mustache, why should we? Before we go through the thing where you say, no way, Johnny, and I say, I'll tell Dad you did bad stuff, let's just cut to the chase. Deep down, you know you love me, and I love you, so help a brother out! Say hello to the Zoomer Groomer. Great. Blast me. It fires small bolts of hair follicle stimulating rays that. Blast me! <laughs> now, let us know if you feel any itching, burning, or overgrowth side effects. Here's a side effect for you. Looking wicked awesome! Super scary movie, here I come! Johnny, look! When Susan sees this symbol of my love, she'll know once and for all that I... Where did you get that awesome stash? The Zoomer Groomer. My sister's built it. Some kind of hair something. I wasn't listening. Scary movie time! If I were to say, sneak into the test house and steal such a device, I too could sport a fine stash that Susan will love. And that is what I shall do. I'm off to the supermarket. Bye! <laughs> oh, hey, enjoy the show, cool mustache dude. Awesome! <laughs> oh, oh, this is the part where the beast attacks the Canadian Mounties who are protecting the camping teens. Don't worry, teens. We'll protect you from the beast. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Susan Test, you will never be able to resist me with hair in the middle of my face. If there is a treat more delicious than meatloaf pie, I don't care to know about it. 
It's just an awesome mustache, everyone. Ooh. Who knew a movie would have this kind of effect on people? And who knew that having a mustache would be so awesome? Now, I think it's time we find out what else this baby can do. Awesome! We can drive! All right, kid. What makes you think? A fellow mustache -keteer. Ever think of joining the force? Awesome! We're cops! And that's Speed McCool! That mustache? I think I just found the new ghost star for my next movie. <laughs> I love you. Ah! Ooh, lights a fire in July! Oh, let me use the Zoomer Groomer. I need to look awesome like you. What's it worth to you? How about eight tickets to the Beast? Uh, it's totally sold out. I bought these online for two grand. Deal! One Johnny mustache coming up. Harrier, Harrier, Harrier! Okay, okay! Yeah. Harrier! Well, how do I look? Harrier? So sweet. And, ooh, <laughs> what's the sensation I'm feeling? Is it the tingle of untamed attractiveness? Huh? <laughs> because it itches. A lot! This might be the side effect Susan was talking about. <laughs> Oh. Try the pharmacy in town. Bye. Whoa. <laughs> hey, you don't think. Okay, guys, let's remember that it's just a movie and not overreact if we think we see. <laughs> Saying the beast is real and in pork belly. Run, run for your lives! Tell me you didn't use the Zoomer Goomer on Bling Bling. He'll be fine. He's just itchy. I've just received word that the military is mobilizing to capture the beast before it eats us all. Wait, this is great. The military will capture and chain up Eugene and lock him away in some far off cage facility and feed him bananas and he'll be away from me forever! Dude, that is cold. Fine, we'll help him. No! Destroy the beast! Huh? <laughs> no, 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 no! It's me! I have an itchy giant mustache! <laughs> Follow him into the woods! Oh, hang on! But first. Give us three tickets to the 7 o'clock show. -in. Sorry, dude, the beast is sold out. Darn it! Get the real beast! I got the anti itch stuff. And I've installed a bling bling tracking device onto the dashboard readout on the ATVs. So we track him down, bring him back here, shave him, get him home so he doesn't get wasted by our military forces. This doesn't make sense. The tracking device says that bling bling just crossed the border into. <laughs> Beast is out of our jurisdiction. It's Canada's problem now. <laughs> what? Who's there? Mustache Johnny, and we're here to rescue you with itch spray. Gimme, 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 gimme! <laughs> I'm better! Now, let's get you out of here. Susan Tess, you saved me! <laughs> you do like my mustache! Kiss me. Don't worry, teens. We'll protect you from the beast. Eh? Hey, it's just like in the movie. You're, You're like, like coming, coming with us. us. Hello? I just outsmarted the United States military. <laughs> you think I'm afraid of a couple Canadian Mounties? Destroy the beast! 
Hey, fellas! Okay, that's not like in the movie. Um... Get me out of here! made it back to the States. But we did get to use the cool robot horses, eh? Woohoo! We made it! We're safe! We're all safe now! Uh-oh. Hold it right there, beast! Wait! This isn't the beast! It's just Bling Bling covered in hair! <laughs> Sorry! It's not the beast! It's just a really hairy Bling Bling! Bling Bling? Oh, darn! You kids better tell me right now why I shouldn't haul you off into lockdown and tell your parents and get y'all into a lot of trouble. Because we can all go to the movies instead? With cool mustaches? Mm. 